So welcome to my practical board. Today I am installing this socket here. It is in the main room or probably in the guest area. Now it is important to take note of these three important factors. Number one, the wires that will be supplying this socket with power must be very quality. I am using the Metsec quality cables. These wires are pure in copper. Number two thing that impresses me is about the insulation. It can be able to handle the current that is being conducted there. And then they are definitely durable. An important factor is also to note that this socket is a twin socket, which means that it can serve many purposes. Apart from an extension connection, it can also be connected something else here. Another important aspect is definitely the MCB that I am using. A 20 ampere rated MCB is enough to supply this socket with power. For this case, I am using a chint MCB, which is also a very quality MCB. If you are getting value out of this video, kindly smash that like button. So let us go ahead and wire this socket. Quality is always my number one consideration when I am installing these appliances and I hope you as an electrical technician or probably a do-it-yourself enthusiast, you definitely consider quality because you know when you're dealing with quality, there is guaranteed longevity and when you talk about quality, it starts from even the electrical fixtures such as pipework and also the wires. So when doing these connections, it is important to take note of the material of the wire. Good cables will always, always guarantee longevity to an electrical installation. And apart from that, they will always give you a good reputation as an electrical technician. So always advise your client to invest in good materials in good cables cables which are pure copper will guarantee your work a lot of good reputation as an electrical technician so now when it comes to this connection here i have my socket there is an l connection meaning live this live or the face will serve both the outlets I also have the neutral where I have the black cable going in there which will still serve both the outlets and I also have two earthing connections. I can use them for looping incoming gates here or an outgoing gates here and I can also use only one. For this case I'm using one because there is no looping so I will only connect one there. So these are very powerful and strong socket that I am using here and uh, it is an important one so I will simply connect there it is important to note that your wires must be able to go all in and also ensure that when connecting that this screw will not screw the insulation but will screw the copper wire so that whatever appliance is connected here will not strain to get its current supply or to complete the circuit. A strain in the circuit brings about a problem because that means there will be issues such as an under voltage which may cause a problem to the appliance that is connected here. Also it might bring arcing. Arcing will burn this socket and reduce its lifespan. It will also affect the insulation of the wire. So it is important to ensure that your connection or basically your termination is firmly done or it is electrically and mechanically sound to ensure that current is conducted efficiently. So we go ahead and screw it. After I've confirmed that the connection is perfect, I go ahead and screw it. So that when the user or our customer will connect their appliances here, they are safe to use, they are good to go. They are even safe from 
any danger such as electrical fires. So when inserting on the live, I will ensure that that wire goes all in like that. I not screw and leave wires bending there, but I'll make sure it goes all in. Important to note also is to ensure that when I screw this screw here, it will not screw the insulation because again, that one will bring a problem when the appliances that will be connected there will now strain to get their sufficient current. And so I'll go ahead and screw it. But I'm sure everything is okay. I'll also touch on backfolding. Backfolding is important because it creates a lot of surface area for the conductivity. Very important to ensure that the cable has got sufficient surface area or enough surface area to get in contact with the connections there. So I make sure that I insert it like that and then I can screw. When screwing, when screwing again, my screw will not be in contact with the insulation or will not screw the insulation but will screw the wire only or the conductor only and i make sure that i tighten it so that the joint or the connection is electrically and mechanically sound so that being said and done you can see i have given an allowance for my cable so that in the event that this socket has to be replaced then it will mean that uh, there is enough room for repairs. After that, I will simply go ahead and screw the socket. Just like that. Namna huo huo. Simply screw the socket. So there you have it. Those are three main important things to consider while installing your socket. The socket must be a quality one. The wires must be pure copper and have an insulation that is perfect. And then number three is about the MCB. No compromise, it has to be perfect so that in the event that there is an issue with this circuit or any appliance that will be connected here and it results to a short circuit, then this circuit breaker will be able to trip, saving your appliances and also saving your house from fires. Now this, we will connect it on our consumer unit. Have it there. In the next video, we are wiring the instant shower head. I will share a lot of the things to look out for when installing this important appliance in our house. See you then. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel, Top Heights Electricians. Thank you so much for watching.